Hello, I just am going to uh, walk you through the Smarter Balanced Assessment Consortium test. The website to access it is uh, right up at top here. <clears throat> First off, let's take a look at the calculators. They do actually have some very nice calculators in here. Scientific graphing, which does allow you to graph fairly complex as well as fairly simple quadratics, absolute value, etc. And graph. Look at it as a table. Check your window settings, etc. So the ability here to see graphs is going to be very important, I believe, because they did give us a very good calculator. As far as the training test goes, I have had difficulties loading this in, in Chrome. Uh, I, this will not run on our Washer County School District, uh, i.e. Explorer 7. Uh, so we're kind of in a lurch to view it at school and see what uh, these questions are, but that's why I'm walking us through it here. So we're going to sign in. Uh, we're going to, oh, must select a grade. Start the high school math. There are 10 questions. Finally, we will start the test. Nope. Now we can begin the test. I'm not going to give us a commentary on each question. I'll just point out some things that I've noticed. Um, starts off fairly basic. We have a two tangent circles. Where's the center of the second? What's interesting here is this. Show your work or explain how you found your answer. So you're really going to have to push the learners to that higher order of thinking to explanation and show all of the steps. We cannot go continue until we answer this question, so I will um, type something in here. Um, okay, so there's what we're going to do, etc. Notice that the second I went forward, it looks like the same question. The only difference is in here. Has the same area, has one fourth the area. on some logarithmic scales uses a decibel meter and here's the claim notice that it does not truly ask you to calculate anything explain whether Raphael is or is not correct. You just have to give a correct answer for the justification. I noticed this always opens up in the middle, so we have to teach the kids to scroll up in order to read the full question. Nice little curve. As a stats teacher, I thoroughly am disgusted by the way they found the midpoint, though, but that's fine. So you have to read from the graph 
and determine the greatest amount Tyler should spend on any advertising, show or explain how you found your answer. So there could actually be several answers depending upon how you justify it. Um, the fact they actually did put the, cur the bends in there instead of a nice curve is probably leading them towards an answer. Love this question, very high level. It's really going to mess up our learners. Drag into the box exactly three unique expressions whose sum is less than 10. Okay, click and drag. Just picking the first ones. Drag into the box exactly three unique expressions whose sum is between 10 and 20. And greater than 20. That is a very tough question requiring a really solid understanding of exponents, fractional exponents, negative exponents. It's a tough question. This question is why I chose to do this as a video and not as a series of snapshots because you need to see that progression of the problem in order to answer the question or in order to understand the question. Give an obvious answer there. Next, again, we have to scroll up to get the rest of the question. They give us a nice little picture. And then it does ask for calculation here. So not only does the learner have to explain and justify here the learner has to explain justify and calculate as well as notice the requested answer is in feet but they give 30 miles per hour so the conversion from miles per hour to feet is very important especially since you're talking from seconds to hours Calculator will be useful on here, and they give us all three, scientific graphing and regression. A straight up comparison problem. Total cost, miles per gallon, repairs. I think we assign and work a lot of these problems. Okay, some geometry. to change the water level so it's interactive they can experiment with it so notice there is no explanation there is no justification here simply the Hey, play around with the tanks, figure out based upon how much goes in, and give me a number there. Again, calculators, uh, the zooming, is for readability, and every question is zoomable. 
can do some scratch pad, especially here. This is one where jotting some notes down would be very useful. These have been at the top of every question. And so we're flagging it. And notice when we flagged it up here at the top, it said nine was marked. I'll unmark it. No, I'll leave it marked, see what happens. We can save our progression and, and ideally, hopefully, come back to it. We can pause our test. Um, let's not pause. All right. We're at a quadratic equation whose zeros are and are. Well, that's not all that hard. An equation, so we better go y equals, not an expression. They give us all these ability down here to type in numbers. So we don't even have to use the keyboard, we can just point and click. We're going to have to teach them how to navigate the menus. They have to go back and forth. Depends on what they want. There's an quadratic function with those zeros, but they did not say what specify what format, so I would think that would be a good answer. Two functions are shown, so we have two functions, two tables. F and G. Use the add arrow tool to graph a linear function that has a rate of change less than the rate of change of f of x and greater than the rate of change of g of x. So they're going to have to be able to calculate slope, graph it, and then put a line on here. Less slope than this, more slope than that. And we've reached the end. Go back, review it. I marked this one. Yeah, not too sure about that eight. I'll check it. Great. And test. And that is the preview questions of the current SBAC released questions. Do you have any questions? See the website up here, and uh, good luck.